New at 5:30, a wall of steel. Crews are beginning to work on a giant seawall to protect a Jersey Shore town devastated by Hurricane Sandy. Eyewitness News New Jersey reporter Cleve Bryan was there. Checking on his new home in Manilokan, Steve Lott vividly remembers what Sandy did to his last house. Just completely tore it into three pieces. In all, more than 100 homes were wiped away or had to be demolished in Manilokan because of Sandy. Only a fraction have been rebuilt so far, but something very big just got underway, which could change that. Construction began this week on a three and a half mile seawall in Manilokan and Brick Township. We feel that this will give people confidence to rebuild. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been spent to rebuild the Route 35 corridor along the seashore in Ocean County. A large scale dune project is planned for February, but first comes the seawall, which will serve as a last resort against storms. Sheets are 45 foot long. They're being driven 30 feet below sea level. This area coming into Manilokan was under 20 feet of water after Sandy, but when this project's done, there'll be a double layer of protection 22 feet above sea level. What we're saying to the people of Manilokan is we fixed the beach. It will not be a threat anymore. Local officials hope by the end of the summer to receive more applications for construction permits from people ready to rebuild. Now that they have the seawall in, I'm feeling pretty good about it, but I was a little nervous because it's a big investment and we had no protection before. Now we do. The seawall should be complete by the fall. In Manilokan, Cleve Bryan, CBS3 Eyewitness News.